Hello, Randy here, K7AGE. I am still around. I'm still planning on making videos. I know it's been a long time, so just thought I'd put together a ham shack chat here and uh, just talk about a couple general things and what's coming up and just kind of fill you in and let you know I'm st still active here. The videos that really seem to be most popular are my videos on how to do something. The PSK videos, the working of the satellites, um, some of my field day operating and things. So some of my next videos I'm going to be making will be how to build some antennas. And I'm going to start with some real simple things. Um, for the people who have just got their license, a technician class, I'm going to show you how to build a quarter wave ground plane for both 2 meters and uh, for 450 typically used for FM and repeaters and for the people getting started on HF, a 20 meter dipole antenna. Anyway, these will be some upcoming videos hopefully here in just the next few weeks. I've recently signed up and joined the Twitter group. This is a uh, social networking text interchange um, thing that a lot of people are, are on. I have it both on my computer. I use Firefox and I have a little add-in called Twitter Fox, so it's a little icon in the bottom corner. And I also use it on my mobile phone, use the web browser there and connect to the website. And the idea is this, that I follow many people and many people follow me and you can send a little text message out, about 130 characters, same type of thing as your SMS message, and just let you, just lets people know what you're doing, where you're at, and sometimes I use this to say, I'm on the band, I'm on this, this frequency at, at the moment. Something else I've also signed up to is Ustream, and this is a video streaming service, and I've done this now twice. I actually, um, had uh, two or three people following me on the first broadcast so I can go into Ustream and using my webcam on the computer I can start streaming video and audio to the internet and when I do that I send a Twitter message out and it has the link you just click on that and it pops you up in uh, in the Ustream service and you should be able to to see my broadcast there's a chat window which you is the way you can send me comments and f and uh, and f and feedback. So we tried it uh, with Chris from 73s.org. He's been doing this. I uh, watched him from a coffee shop one morning. He was on. We had some. Uh, he was having some problems. He was probably stealing too much of the bandwidth within the coffee shop. So. Uh, I uh, set myself up with an account and an hour later I was broadcasting and by that time he was home. N7ICE I believe his name is. Check him out at 73s73s.org. It's a uh, social networking site for ham radio operators that Chris is putting together. He's also doing some um, some 73s org dot updates with videos and he does publish those to podcast and uh, something else there to check. Follow me on Twitter. Thanks for the email. I receive a lot of email from people all over the world. Thank you very much. I try and answer them all. Sometimes I get a little behind or get out of synchronization. I think maybe I've answered something but I haven't. Um, so I try to. If I if you sent me something that you don't think I've replied, um, just send it to me again, and we'll take care of that. The email is easy: k7age at k7age.com, or you can send me messages through the YouTube system for those of you with a YouTube account. Um, I get lots of emails from people who have just gotten their licenses, so congratulations and I receive email from people who have been off the air or away from the hobby for a few years. They've stumbled across this stuff here on YouTube and it's gotten their interest and they're back on the air.
people have, have recently retaken their tests or dragged out the equipment or starting to put up antennas um, with a little bit of encouragement from what they've seen with me and others here on the U YouTube site. I received a message uh, I think this morning from a fellow who said my videos and the Goat Hiker series of videos from a fellow in uh, outside of Denver he and his two pack goats go up into the mountaintops and he operates QRP so if you haven't seen those go to Goat Hiker on YouTube and uh, watch the uh, watch the day outings with Peanuts and Rooster the pack goats my echo link is broken sorry <laughs> The power supply in the computer has failed. I haven't had time to get around to replacing it. It's probably been dead now for about two months. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks I'll either get a new power supply in that PC or just swap the whole PC out with another one. If you, um, I usually have been uh, turning it on during the weekends and not during the week. I've, I'm around more on the weekends, able to listen to the radio and pick up a QSO with people. I know I have uh, uh, had contacts from people all over Europe, South America, um, Australia, New Zealand, and all around the USA here. So look for it again here uh, probably mid-December, get it back running again. If you're on your PC running the Echolink software, you would connect to me using K7AGE-L. Or if you're using a radio link and using a touch tone uh, entry, the node number is 271-372. 271-372. So look for that again, hopefully in just a couple weeks. When I'm not watching YouTube, I listen to several different amateur radio podcasts. So one of the ones I listen to is This Week in Amateur Radio. It's news and general interest type segments. It's uh, it's long. It can be up to two hours long. It's uh, you also hear this on many repeaters around the country. Uh, solder smoke. If you're into QRP and building and tinkering on the workbench, you'll enjoy Bill's uh, escapades as he uh, tries to make things work and talking about his uh, life over in Italy. Resonant frequency, Bill in Texas. This is aimed at the new hams. Um, he usually has a segment that he covers something in a fair amount of a fair amount of detail. He reads a lot of his email and comments on things from many of his listeners, and he has some uh, sometimes some guest spots that are on the the show. So that's that's worth a listen. Then there's the Linux in the Ham Shack. This is another one that, that Bill and another fellow are working on. So if you're uh, interested in repurposing some of those older PCs or wanting to move away from Windows, give that podcast a, a listen. Practical Amateur Radio Podcast. This is uh, new here. I guess it's been about six months or so that, that he's been putting this show together. It's aimed right at the new people, getting their stations on for the first time, how to... Uh, how to operate some real basic antenna things so uh, check that out long delayed echoes is another very well done podcast by jeff ke9v he has about 50 of these produced and he looks at the the he looks at the historical side of amateur radio you know, how we got started, what was going on during World War II, the first field day, some of the real early de-expeditions um, Jeff uh, works away from his home doing contract type work for months at a time. He's just recently returned home, so hopefully we'll see some new material out of Jeff here or over the upcoming winter months. Um, and even even so, go back and, uh, and go to his website, do some Googling, find these podcasts I'm talking about here, or look in the notes over on the side. And uh, I'll put up some... Uh, some uh, some links. Again, the podcast, something else to, oh, you don't need to use an iPod. You can um, use a, your standard PC to download the audio files. You can use iTunes and subscribe to them. There's other podcasting subscription services. I'm not familiar with any of them, sorry. But um, these are worth, uh, especially for the new people, the resonant frequency and, and, and the practical amateur radio podcasts would be good ones for the new guys uh, to listen to. 
So that's all for today. Just wanted a quick chat here to let you know I'm still around, still plan on producing things. It's been a busy summer, getting back into the swing of things. I got one more trip to make and then I'll be around for a while and hopefully the weather will be nice and be able to uh, produce these antenna videos to get you going um, with a little better range for your two meter HTs and working from home and such. Anyway, keep watching. Send me the um, emails. Glad to receive them. I'll try to respond. And um, 73. See you on see you on the uh, the tube here. Thanks. Thank <laughs> you.